anything else I was just doing for money. Like right. something would come along and they would say, do you want to act? And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll do that. And it was, but it was always like, well, if that sucks, I'll just go back to doing stand-up. Joe Rogan is an American comedian, podcaster, and UFC color commentator. He's also a former actor and television presenter. Rogan began his career in comedy in August 1988 in the Boston area. After relocating to Los Angeles in 1994, he signed an exclusive developmental deal with Disney and appeared as an actor on several television shows, including Hardball and News Radio. From 2001 to 2006, he was the host of Fear Factor. In 2009, Rogan launched his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, which led him to increased success and podcast superstardom. We were did it for six years, 148 episodes, and then we came back. We came back and did six more, and it got canceled because they made people drink cum. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Joseph James Rogan, but is also known as Joe. He was born August 11, 1967 in Newark, New Jersey, making him 53 at the time of this production. He stands at 5 feet 7 inches tall or 171 centimeters. Rogan became interested in jiu-jitsu after watching Royce Gracie fight at UFC 2 No Way Out in 1994. In 1996, Rogan began training in Brazilian jiu-jitsu under Carlson Gracie at his school in Hollywood. He's a black belt under Eddie Bravo's 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, a style of no-gi Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and a black belt in G Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Jean-Jacques Machado. In 2020, CNN described Rogan as libertarian-leaning. Rogan has been an outspoken critic of trans women fighting women in MMA matches. Rogan is an avid hunter and is part of the Eat What You Kill movement. Rogan also supports the legalized use of cannabis and believes it holds numerous benefits. There's not much we know about Rogan's personal life and his love encounters in the past. Rogan married Jessica Ditzel, a former cocktail waitress in 2009. They have two daughters. The first was born in 2008 and the second in 2010. Rogan is also a stepfather to Ditzel's daughter from a previous relationship. Fuckable white dudes out camping. <laughs> yeah. And th that's what it is. It's like some weird thing. They hit this point when they're like in their 40s or their 50s and like nobody wants to fuck me anymore. I got, I got to find ultimate truth. Joseph James Rogan was born August 11th, 1967 in Newark, New Jersey. His father, Joseph, is a former police officer in Newark. Rogan's parents divorced when he was five, and he's not been in contact with his father since he was seven. From ages seven to 11, the family lived in San Francisco, California, followed by a move to Gainesville, Florida when he was 11. They settled outside Boston in Newton Upper Falls, Massachusetts, where Rogan attended Newton South High School, from which he graduated in 1985. Rogan participated in Little League Baseball, but developed an interest in martial arts in his early teens. At age 14, Rogan took up karate, and a year later started Taekwondo. When he was 19, he won the U.S. Open Championship Taekwondo Tournament as a lightweight. He attended the University of Massachusetts Boston, but found it pointless and dropped out early. In 1994, Rogan moved to Los Angeles and booked his first national television spot, as well as the MTV comedy show Half Hour Comedy Hour, where he was able to showcase the stand-up comedy he'd worked on during his time in New York City. That same year, Rogan booked his first major acting role in the sitcom Hardball as Frank Valente, a young egocentric star player on a professional baseball team. The show ran on Fox for nine episodes in 1994. He performed at the Comedy Store in Hollywood for 13 years for free thanks to owner Mitzi Shore and was kind enough to pay for the venue's new sound system. Rogan starred in the NBC sitcom News Radio from 1995 to 1999. He played Joe Gorelli, the electrician and handyman at the show's fictional news radio station. Rogan began working for the Ultimate Fighting Championship as a backstage and post-fight interviewer. He did his first UFC interview at UFC 12 Judgment Day on February 7, 1997. Rogan became friends with UFC's then new president Dana White, who offered him a job as a color commentator, but Rogan initially declined. In 2002, White was finally able to hire Rogan for free in exchange for event tickets for him and his friends. After about 15 free gigs as commentator, Rogan agreed to be paid for the job. 
Rogan won the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Award for Best Television Announcer twice and was named MMA Personality of the Year four times by the World MMA Awards. In 2001, he accepted an offer from NBC to host the American edition of Fear Factor. The show ran for six seasons from 2001 to 2006. In 2011, Rogan resumed his role as Fear Factor host for its seventh and final season. In February 2003, Rogan became the new co-host of The Man Show on Comedy Central for its fifth season from August 2003. The show ended in 2004. In 2011, Rogan played his first major character in a movie, Zookeeper. In 2013, Rogan hosted the television show Joe Rogan Questions Everything on the Sci-Fi Network, which aired for six episodes. The show covered topics discussed on his podcasts, including the existence of Bigfoot and UFOs. Rogan is the author of four books, 2006's Mastering the Rubber Guard Jiu-Jitsu for Mixed Martial Arts Competition, 2007's Mastering the Twister, Jiu-Jitsu for Mixed Martial Arts Competition, 2010's Talking Monkeys in Space, and 2020's The Conversation That Broke the Internet. In December 2009, Rogan launched a free podcast with his friend and fellow comedian Brian Redman. The first episode was recorded on December 24th and was initially a live weekly broadcast on Ustream, with Rogan and Redman sitting in front of laptops bullshitting. By August 2010, the podcast was named The Joe Rogan Experience. The podcast features an array of guests who discuss current events, political views, philosophy, comedy, hobbies, and numerous other topics. It's one of the most popular free podcasts available. Tooth comb and found some irregularities, but you know, you, you kind of got to use Occam's razor whenever you're looking at any of those things. Like, what is the most likely possibility? It's been speculated that Joe earns $30 million per year from his podcast between sponsor reads and YouTube revenue. In 2017, we estimated that he conservatively earns $5 million per year from the podcast. It should be noted that the podcast is just one of many sources of income for Joe. He still performs sold-out stand-up shows around the country and is the official commentator for UFC. He also earned millions as the host of the television series Fear Factor between 2001 and 2006. On May 19, 2020, it was announced that Joe had signed a multi-year licensing deal with Spotify, and he's expected to be earning millions from it. Joe Rogan's net worth is $100 million. In October 2019, Joe spent $5 million on a home in Bell Canyon, California in Ventura County. Joe has called Bell Canyon home since 2003 when he spent $2.2 million on a starter house in the same area. In October 2020, Joe listed the latter home for sale for $3.2 million. In September 2020, Joe plunked down $14.4 million for a mansion in Austin, Texas. These are the cars you might find in Rogan's garage. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Nineteen sixty five Corvette Stingray, Tesla Model S. Ford Mustang, BMW M3, MK4 Toyota Supra Ford 
Ford Bronco.